y'all doing? I'm pissing soft people off and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Moonshiner Josh Owens. He was in a near fatal accident yesterday, March 4th, 2023. He was racing in Smyrna, Florida, uh, down in Daytona. He was uh, in a pretty bad accident and I've heard that he's broken his femur and he himself has now posted a video talking to his fans, letting everybody know he's okay. So, obviously, that's the good thing. The good news here is he, it looks like he's going to be all right. He was able to post a video, so therefore he's conscious. Everything's going good, and he's getting the treatment he needs. It's going to be a long road to recovery, but we've got that video telling a little bit more about what happened there exactly from him, you know, in his words, and, you know, some of the stuff he's dealing with right now, such as he can't lift his right arm. And the nub that he had from when he cut his finger off, well, it's nearly gone now. But he'll tell you all about that here in just a few minutes. But I just want you all to know, Josh Owens, he's just a down-to-earth guy. You know, he is on the Discovery Channel Moonshiner show. He's a celebrity. He's got, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of followers on multiple apps and uh, social medias. And But he's still just this down-to-earth guy. He literally talks to me. I instant message him. We talk on occasion. He's really just a great guy. He's the kind of guy that would give you a shirt off of his back. Well, that's if he was wearing one, that is, because he's typically not a lot of the times. But anyway, the moral of the story, it looks like Josh is going to be okay. Uh, unlike all this clickbait that I'm seeing out there right now about obituaries for Josh Owens, prayers, he's in critical condition, which he is in critical condition, but he is actually conscious and doing better now, well enough to post on social media, and he's just going to have a long road to recovery. So here's wishing you the best, Josh. I hope it goes quick. And let's go ahead and jump into this real quick and see what he had to say. All right. So what I was trying to say is old Garrett here. First time he walks in the room, he says, dude, you look awful familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? I don't know, man. He said, are you, uh, are you on TV by any chance? I was like, you got me. So now he's wheeling me down here to take this MRI to see how many ligaments are damaged, to see what kind of surgery I'm going to need on my shoulder here. And you see all this on my face here? I was wearing a full face helmet. I hit the, pa I hit the pavement head first at 100 miles an hour. Well, between 85 and 100. But these bikes are faster than they were before, so I'm guessing I was running between 90 and 100 miles an hour. And uh, I had some oil hit my back tire, and that got me to, got me real loose in the ass end. and started going back and forth. And then somehow or another, my front tire blew out. And when my front tire blew out, well, it happened so fast at that point, I didn't even see myself flying to the ground I hit the ground I remember hitting the ground but somehow or another I bounced off the wall and don't even remember touching the wall so I guess I'm pretty lucky to be alive um, I had surgery on my hand last night I had surgery on my hand last night the finger that I cut, the fingers that I cut off last summer. Somehow or another, the, my nub. I don't know how my littlest finger is the one that got it, but somehow, the nub, from the knuckle to the end of the nub, is down past the knuckle. Like there's no knuckle there, really. There's no tendons left, and I basically just lost. Well, lost the uh, use of my nub, but it's still gonna be there. I wouldn't let him cut it off. Right on. But I can't even lift this arm, no matter how hard I try. Cannot lift my arm. We're gonna bring in for your MRI. Can you answer call? She said for me to cut it off, y'all. Wish me luck. No, don't wish me any luck. Just y'all keep on shining. So as you can see, that was Josh. That was just from a few hours ago on Sunday, March fifth, 
2023, so less than 24 hours from the actual accident. As you can see, he's in great spirits. He's letting everybody know what's going on. He's a real down-to-earth guy, and we appreciate you, Josh, and we hope that you get it better way quick. So keep on shining, brother. Speedy recovery, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informational for you. And make sure you're following Josh if you weren't already. Josh is an awesome creator, and he actually cares about his followers and, you know, subscribers. So go ahead and give him a follow over on the TikTok and the YouTube and wherever else he's at. He's a great guy, and I enjoy his posts. And if you like my stuff, you probably like his too. So hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. What the hell are you all still doing here? The video's over. Just start clicking on some shit. It's around here somewhere. There's buttons and likes and all kinds of stuff you can do I think there's even some more videos or they I don't even know where I can't see anything I appreciate y'all catch you on the next one